Oh, hi everyone. Hope everybody's having an awesome day. This uh, amazing Sunday. Um, keeping with the whole gun theme and the fact that it's Sunday. And the majority of the people in this country are Christians. Thought I would share this. This little uh, split cross that I made out in my uh, blacksmith shop. Did this a while back, just now kind of putting it on camera, sharing it with everybody. Um, these things are pretty cool. I'm holding them, cutting them, doing everything. But the main reason for this video is this right here. This is a Marlin. I need to double check. 56-22. These, uh, I really like this gun a lot. It's another uh, pre-1964 gun. I've seen other guns like this that were tube-fed. This one is magazine-fed. Um, I have never found another magazine. I've never found another magazine for this gun whatsoever. And... I've got a lot of friends in, in the gun world, gun community, and I've never found one of these, and neither have they. So, it must not be that common. Um, this is a short throw lever action. So, that's all the further I gotta do it, you know. That's it, that's all you gotta do to cock it. Trigger pull, amazing. This thing right here, I tell you what, if I can see it, I can nail it with this. This uh, this gun was given to me uh, right around the same time that my uh, great-grandpa passed away. It belonged to my great-uncle, my grandpa's brother. And, uh, yeah, he bought this new, I don't know when he bought it new. But I know that this gun is relatively old. Um, they are pretty nice. The fit, the finish, the wood. Uh, you know, just the overall finish of it. It's in really good shape. There's no rust on this thing whatsoever, like anywhere. Um, there is some minor pitting on the bolt. Not a big deal. Not a big deal whatsoever. Um, he used to take this out and go hunting quite a bit here, here in state with it. Uh, the butt pad is broken. It's not a pad. The plate is broken. Um, other than that, I mean, this thing's a pretty sweet little gun. Um, I take this out target shooting all the time. I shoot twenty all kinds of little. <laughs> Different 22s. I bought some 22 tracers. Excuse me. Bought some 22 tracers out of here. Or shot some 22 tracers out of this. And, uh, yeah, I absolutely love this thing. I love the fact that it's got a, uh, a removable uh, shroud for the front sight. And it does have a brass bead on the front end of that. And it is removable. It is dovetailed. Dovetailed in there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Yep, dovetail. And the fact that, you know, all I got to do to put this back on is just slip it back on. It's ready to be used. Um, yeah, that's a pretty sweet little gun. I figured I'd share it with y'all. Um, since being said it's winter time, most of the people I know that have shooting ranges are outside. Um, and I may or may not be uh, moving here pretty soon to sell my old the house that I currently have and getting a bigger house out in the country. I may or may not be doing that. Um, it's definitely something I'm thinking about doing because I'm tired of living in town. Before I lived out in the country, I wanted a bigger place, so I moved in town. So now I'm thinking about kind of compromising, finding something out in the county. And so that way I can 
put in a nice, good shooting range. So that way I can start doing some shooting videos instead of just a, hey, I like this kind of gun and this and this is why kind of video. So that way we can have 20 minute, 30 minute videos of just shooting and having fun. Um, I don't have any edit editing software just yet. I plan on, I plan on getting some, um, but yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. Take care, y'all. Hope y'all have an awesome Sunday. Uh, take care. Bye.